Santa Barbara County health leaders say the community flattened the curve earlier this year, but now many people have let their guard down. News Channel reporter Blake Devine was at today's public health briefing and has their message. So here's the bottom line. Santa Barbara you County's coronavirus case rate is now 10 times higher than the state's acceptable threshold. As your public health director, I am worried about our increasing case rates and test positivity rates. Earlier this week, gyms, barber shops, and personal care services were shut down for the second time. We've seen record high case counts. We continue to see more and more patients admitted to our hospitals with serious and life-threatening complications. Just two months ago, the curve was flat, allowing businesses to begin reopening. However, the pandemic persisted. What were only a small number of community transmissions in early May ultimately took a strong foothold in our community by early June. As businesses have reopened and we've again begun mixing together, higher risk contacts have increased and the virus is again spreading in our community. This high risk contact typically takes place indoors when people are interacting without masks. And even for those who have recovered from COVID-19, there's a frightening possibility of catching the virus again. We now know that people, some people, either fail to make neutralizing antibodies, and some, after only a couple of months, seem to lose their neutralizing antibodies, perhaps leaving them vulnerable to catching this infection again. To move forward rather than backward, compliance is key. If we want to reopen the closed businesses, now is the time to wear a mask and keep six feet away from others. We must adjust our distancing. We must consistently wear masks and we must frequently wash our hands. County Health stresses that wearing a mask must become second nature, similar to fastening a seatbelt in order to slow the spread of COVID-19. In Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter Blake Devine.